Oh boy. Okay. Hopefully they'll give us a good game tonight. They're playing the Flyers. The Flyers should be tired. We'll have to see how they do. But after that road trip, oh boy. Whew. Okay. Let's see what happens. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ryan from Seaway Sports Lounge, and welcome back to another episode of Leafs Time Out. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the Flyers versus the Leafs. They played them tonight for the first time this year. We're going to go over a little bit of Leaf news that has happened in the last 24 hours. We're also going to see what Coach Keefe had to say with regarding possible changes to the lineup. And then after that, we're going to go through the breakdown of the game and, of course, takeaways like I always do. So with that, let's just get right into it. So the Maple Leafs have some news. Uh, apparently, Timothy Lilligren is able to come back to the lineup as of Saturday against Boston. This defenseman, he hasn't started yet because he had a major surgery on his hernia about three to four weeks ago. Anyway, he's been cleared to play and he's been cleared off LTIR after tonight. So he will be entering the lineup. This is a huge boost for the Leafs. They do need this player. He's been penciled as a major part of their defense core. So I'm really happy to see that he's back. Uh, Jake Muzzin actually also had some news. He was waiting for results from a specialist from uh, California. It's a neck specialist. That's his current injury. Obviously, we'll have to see if he can actually play in this time this year or any time this year, but we'll have to see. But anyway, they're waiting for the results because obviously it's going to dictate the cap space that they have. If they can use it, absolutely go out and get another defenseman. That's my opinion, or even a bottom six, but we can go in that in another video. After that disastrous road trip out west, with all the heat that's on this team and with all the heat that's on the coach, obviously people were asking about what the Maple Leafs are going to do. Are they going to make major changes? Anyway, Coach Keefe was asked this question today, and basically he was saying nothing's off the table, of course. He's not going to tip his hand. Anyway, he's looking at any kind of option, including the idea of moving Matthews and Marner apart. Now, I'm not a big fan of this. Uh, Matthews and Nylander were really good at one point whenever they were together. However, defensively, I didn't find them as good. And Matthews and Marner are very, for the most part, responsible with the puck. So I don't see them breaking this, this tandem up. They've been dynamic like all last year and the year before. So we'll have to see. But I mean, he's looking at anything. This coach is trying to figure out a way to get this team motivated and sparked to play. I mean, he's put the lines through the blender. He's moved people around. He's dropped people down to the Marlies, brought people up. And I mean, he's tried every defensive uh, pairing he can find. So with now with Lilia Grin coming back, maybe this will help them. Um, but anyway, he's tried everything. But it's interesting to see that he's willing to say that at least anything's on, anything's possible. Now, the Maple Leafs played the Flyers tonight. It's the first time they've met them this year. This is also the first time they've met John Tortorella coaching the Flyers. Last time they played against Tortorella, he was coaching the Columbus Blue Jackets, which they lost in the play-in series. We'll have to see how the Flyers uh, do. They haven't been pegged as a good team this year. Obviously, currently in a rebuild or retool style right now. They have a lot of young players, but they're still trying to put everything together. Uh, Pontus Holberg actually played his first game tonight as a Leaf. He is, I believe, on the third or fourth line. He's been a bottom six, of course. Uh, they're also, the Flyers are on a second game on a back-to-back. -back. Uh, Samsonov was in the nets for the Leafs, and Felix Sandstrom is the backup of the Flyers. Anyway, he played tonight. So, of course... Great news. They won 5-2. to two. It was an actually a really nice game to watch. I quite enjoyed it. Very, very, very solid win. We'll go into that in a minute. So basically, here we go. So the Maple Leafs won 5-2. to two. They were at home, as they said earlier. And this game was a much better game all around. It was a much more improved, more kind of what we're used to. Anyway, the Leafs outshot them 44-25, and that number is correct. The Leafs were very dominant all over the ice. They uh, basically controlled the game. For most of the time, uh, the Flyers did throw a little bit of resistance against them, but not that much. Toronto pretty much owned them most of the game. Power plays, one of the takeaways from that, uh, from the game, was Toronto actually got, uh, there was a lot of penalties. There were 11 penalties in that game. There were six penalties against the Maple Leafs. In a nutshell, the Toronto game went down that Mouston Matthews scored power play goal at 1640 from Tavares and Marner. It was a really nice goal. It was right in front. There was a play where... Matthews ended up changing his spot. Normally, he sits on the side. He ended up going right in front of the net. Anyway, he ended up shoveling the rebound, 
putting it right past Sandstrom. So that made it 1-1, actually, because Flyers scored first. Then John Tavares got a really nice goal at the end of the period. He made it 2-1 from Nylander and Riley. There were no goals in the second. Toronto had a very dominant period. The Flyers did have a couple of moments where they looked pretty good, but Samsonov took care of business. He shut them down, which was great. And then in the third period, then it started to open up and things got a little rough. Uh, as per always with Flyers and Leaf games, they're never a dull moment with these two. Anyway, Aston Reese, he actually got his first goal, which was great. He needs to get going. He has he was brought in as a PTO, as we all know. But I do believe Kyle Dubas has high hopes for this guy. That's why they signed him to the one-year deal. Anyway, he got his first from Malgan and Camp. That line actually was very dominant tonight. It was actually really nice to watch them. Now, this goal from Owen Tippett uh, was power play goal from Konechny and Lawton. But here's the problem with this goal. It was one just quick release. Anyway, Samsonov wasn't ready for the shot or it just didn't look good. The shot, the goal wasn't a, it was a pretty goal in terms of uh, from Tippett's perspective. But from our goalie, not so much. He wasn't prepared for it. And it was kind of an ugly goal to look at. But anyway, that made it three to two. And then, of course, then, you know, because of all the problems Toronto's been facing over the last number of games, you know, people started to get nervous, people were that. But then all of a sudden, it didn't last very long. I found the Leafs settled right down. And then right after, not long after that, John Tavares got a really nice goal. Now, this goal, if you can find it, I mean, if I can, I will find the highlight and post it in the description below. This goal was a beauty. He basically brought the puck in himself. He actually jumped onto the ice after Matthews jumped off the ice just to relieve him. Anyway, he ended up going down the ice by himself. He deked out uh, Sennheim with pretty easy precision. And then he went right by the goalie, threw one puck on him, didn't go in. Then he threw a second one and went in. A very nice effort. JT, it was a great, great goal. One of the very highlight reel. Anyway, uh, and then after that, Later in the pier, not long after that, John Tavares got another power play. So he got a Hattie today. So it was a really good game for John Tavares. Matthews and Morgan Riley got the assists. Matthews also had a really good game in Morgan Riley too. Basically, that was the score. Now, the interesting part is the takeaways. The takeaways of this game, Maple Leafs look calm, loose, and confident with the puck. This is something they haven't seen since the Winnipeg game and the Washington game. These are basically the big three games they've actually looked really good. This game was no different. Obviously, they're against an opponent that played last night. Flyers are not as strong at all. They're they're still in the process of retooling, rebuilding. Toronto, like I said earlier, owned the game pretty much most of the way through. They Tavares got three goals. Great, great news for him. He needed that. He's been rolling actually all year. He's had nine goals in 10 games. Well, actually more than that now. What was also nice was that all the stars contributed and on the defensive side of the game. Everybody had a good defensive night for the most part. Not a lot of shots got through. Uh, Samsonov pretty much handled everything. It was just a good all-around effort. As I said before, Samsonov looked steady in most of the game. That one goal, of course, questionable goal because of the fact he just wasn't ready for it and it went right by him. But other than that, he basically shut the door and Toronto basically had all the chance in the world to win this game. That was really good. Toronto needed this win. We all know. And the other thing that happened that they took away from this is that right at the end of the game, uh, Travis Konechny obviously wasn't happy. Matthews did a really cool play, almost got a goal. It didn't happen. He pushed, obviously, Matthews. Matthews pushed back. And then, of course, Konechny actually slashed him. And then scrum started. Anyway, he tried to get Matthews to fight. He didn't do it. And then all of a sudden, all, um, a number of players started to really uh, jump in, which is usual for a Flyers-Leafs game. Anyway, Giordano ended up jumping out of nowhere, and he actually, like, tackled him. He, you know, wrestled him for a little while. And, of course, then he got out of it. And then, of course, Konechny didn't want anything of it. He still wanted to keep going after Matthews. And then he tried, and Matthews didn't engage. He was smiling, but he just wasn't interested. Anyway, and then, of course, Bunting gets in there, and Bunting actually threw his weight around, and he actually started to go after Konechny, too. Just really good to see that the Maple Leafs are standing up for their stars. Of all people, Giordano comes out of nowhere. like That That was unexpected, but it was really good to see. Again, that's nice camaraderie. Maybe this, this little problem they've had has helped the Leafs come together a little bit one game but it's just nice to see that they're sticking up for each other so that's basically my breakdown this wasn't a super long video in terms of play overall the Leafs did really well I found this was a very complete game now can they build on this absolutely I think they can I mean they're still not out of the woods yet they still have to work on their issues I mean they are facing the strongest team in the east right now 
uh, on Saturday in the Boston Bruins. They're having an amazing year. Now, I did read earlier that their number one goalie did get hurt tonight, so we'll have to see if he's long-term injury or if he's just a short-term couple games, and then he's back. Uh, Swayman actually is their goalie. But, of course, they've got their big three now with Marchand back and Pasternak and Bergeron back think, all together. It's not going to be an easy game for the Leafs, of course. I mean, it's at home, which is nice, but the Bruins always, you know, we all know, give us give us issues. But anyway, hopefully they'll have a good game. But tonight was nice to have. It helped them build their confidence. Hopefully they can take over. So I think that's where we're going to stop it here. Now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and took some value out of it. If you like what we're doing, please hit like or subscribe. If you want to find out about more content that we're doing, hit the notification bell on the right. And with that, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good night.